Harrison, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. How does it feel to have joined the club? Thank you very much. No, it's a it's a great feeling to have to have got it all signed and sorted. Um, I'm just looking forward to coming in now in the summer and um, getting cracking. You're the club's first signing of the summer transfer window. How's this one come about from your perspective? Um, I've known about it for a few for a while now, to be fair. Um, but as soon as the season finished, it sort of it sort of um, got going from there. Really, I spoke to the gaffer. Um, spoke to cops and um, everything's gone really smoothly and finally it's done. What sort of things were said in, in those meetings to persuade you that this was the place for you? Well I think obviously it speaks for itself when you come you turn up at the ground to meet people and you see the ground um, and obviously their intentions this season um, is to go back up get, get, get this club back into League One um, and that was my aim I want to be successful um, and I think this is a perfect place to come and to come and get them you know get get trophies and what have you you worked with Steve Eyre before who's now the club's assistant manager did that help to sort of get a grasp for what the club was all about yeah I had um I had Steve messaging me as well to be fair um towards the end of the season uh, just to see how I was and stuff and I thought I sort of know where this is going but um no it's nice to work with Steve as well um obviously like you say I've worked with him before and he's a great coach so I'm looking forward to joining back up with him your contract had come to an end at Fleetwood. Did you feel that this was the right time for a new challenge? Yeah, I think so. I've been there a while now. Um, and I, like you say, I think a change is always nice. Um, and for it to be to, to come to a place like this after um, and get it done so soon, is just it's just exciting, exciting times. There's a couple of boys at Fleetwood, Danny Andrew and, and Brad Halliday, who've been here before. Did you tap into their knowledge of, of the football club before deciding? Yeah, once I heard about about the interest, um, obviously I spoke to Dan and spoke to Brad, um, and they both, you know, they, they both speak so highly of the club, the people around it, um, and every obviously the gaffer, the coaching staff. So um, it sort of it sort of made made me want to get sorted pretty quick. To be fair, you're a Sheffield lad as well. You've been playing your trade a couple of hours away from home for the last five six years. Also, how big a factor was that in, in moving closer to, to your family and your roots as well? That was a big thing for me this summer. Um, having lived away for so long on my own, um, moving back home was, was a big thing. Um, but where that would be, I, I wasn't to know until obviously the interest came in. And that's what made me want to get it sorted. Um, it, it couldn't have worked out any better, to be honest. Uh, I'm just so happy it's sorted. How does that? How much does that help as a footballer when you're feeling settled off the pitch? Can that help improve your performances even more on it as well? Definitely, yeah. I mean, there's times when obviously I've been living away these last few years when things aren't going right, um, and you're so far away from home, it it, you know, it takes a lot longer to get over it. Um, whereas now I'm close to home, I'm close to family, um, so there's always someone there to go and you know speak to or whatever if, if that if that was needed. You come up against Rovers a fair few times over the past few years how much are you looking forward to calling the Eco Power Stadium home from this summer onwards yeah that's another big thing um, coming as a visiting player I've come a few times now and it's somewhere you always really look forward to playing um, so coming coming here you know every other week now calling it your own stadium is perfect um, always a really nice pitch or oh, it has been every time I've come anyway so no it's, uh, it's exciting and how would you describe yourself as a player? We know you're a, a midfielder, but what can the fans expect to see from you on the pitch next season and beyond? Um, I'm, I'm energetic, box to box. Um, last last year, I got started getting past the striker and started adding goals to my game, and that's something that this year I really want to build on. Um, getting forward and getting into a box, um, and I think my work ethic speaks for itself. Really, you'll you'll see that that will never drop. Um, now in spoke to the gaffer and what have you. Um, that's what you know. If a full team do that, then you can be you can be successful. There's a fair bit of quality in that midfield as well. You only have to look at the likes of Adam Clayton, Tommy Rowe, Ben Close coming back from injury now as well. How excited are you by playing alongside them, but also learning from them as well? No, oh, definitely. Yeah, I've I've played against them um, before, and I, I know I know the qualities. I know how good they are. Um, so to play with them now. Um, like, like I say, it's it's exciting. Um, you see the careers that they've had in the past and the clubs that they've been at speaks for themselves, really. And finally, what's your message to the Rovers fans then about your excitement for, for the new campaign? 
I'm looking forward to, to getting to the uh, getting the season started and seeing you all at the ground, um, getting behind us, and hopefully it's a successful season.